Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advance Paper 1 Physics in the year 2019. The question was from the topic of calorimetry. It was based on a numeric, numeric type question and one of the easiest questions in the whole paper. Almost most of the students would have you know jumped with joy seeing this type of question. It was a very easy question and most of them would have done this correctly. So let's see this question. A liquid at 30 degrees Celsius is poured very slowly in the calorie meter which is initially at 110 degrees Celsius. The boiling temperature of the liquid is 80 degrees Celsius and it is given that first 5 gram of the liquid evaporates completely. After pouring another 80 grams, the uh, equilibrium temperature is found to be 50 degrees Celsius. Using this data, we have to find the ratio of uh, latent heat to specific heat capacity of the liquid. Now, if you look carefully, it is said that first 5 gram of the liquid evaporates. That means here liquid was initially at 30 degrees Celsius. It must have come to 80 degrees Celsius and then it would have evaporated. Right. And from here, calorie meter would have come from 110 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. Right. We can say that because it is given first 5 gram evaporates. Beyond this, there is no evaporation. That means after this, after pouring 5 grams, calorie meter would have acquired 80 degrees Celsius. And after that, it will go below 80 degrees Celsius so that liquid is not able to reach 80 degrees Celsius so that there is no evaporation happening. So for this, we can say that 5 grams, for the first 5 grams, we can say this comes to 80 degrees Celsius and hence how much heat would have acquired or accepted M into S into delta T. Delta T is 80 minus 30, which is 50 degrees Celsius. Here S is the specific heat capacity of the liquid. So this is the heat it has accepted while coming from 30 to 80. Plus it will accept some more heat so that it evaporates which can be written as ml so 5 into l where l is the latent heat of the liquid so can we say that this is the total heat accepted by the liquid in coming from 30 to 80 and then finally evaporating this heat will be provided by the calorie meter so calorie meter has come from 110 to 80 let us say that heat capacity of the uh, calorie meter is c I am saying heat capacity, not the specific heat. So heat capacity is C. So we can say that heat capacity into change in temperature, which is 110 minus 80. So this will become 30. Right. So we can say that this much is the heat given by the calorie, uh, calorie meter and this is the total heat accepted by the calorie meter. Now what happens? After that, another 80 grams of liquid, when we pour, from the initial temperature of 30, equilibrium temperature becomes 50. That means for the next 80 grams, M into S into delta T will be 20 degrees Celsius because it has come from 30 to 50. And in the meanwhile, calorie meter has come from 80 to 50. Right? So we can say that C into 30 again. Change in temperature from 80 to 50 is 30 again. Correct? So if you equate LHS of both the equations, so what we will get? Uh, this is Celsius. Celsius, I am cancelling. I am ignoring. Okay. So if you if you see both the sides, what are we going to get? This is 250s plus 5l is equals to 1600s. So from here we can say that 5l will be equals to 1350s, which means l by s will be equals to 1350 divided by 5 which is 20 no 270 so the ratio will be 270 and this was the answer given by it i hope you would have understood thank you